We're at the Waterfire Art Center with a show of Howard Bentre's. My first impression of Howard was, you know, just this energy and this force. Deeply engaged in changing the world, changing places, and using art to communicate to people and to get them excited about what was going on. The big joy of life, big appetites, big appetites for work, food, travel. And it was Howard's genius and his creativity as an artist that created his career. He was such a force of nature that there's just no way that you can really believe that he's gone. Waterfires had to pivot in the time of the pandemic. This is the first of what will be a series of shows. Waterfires about light, glass is all about light. And the Waterfire Arts Center is blessed with remarkable light. So I'm thinking if the sun comes in like this and kind of goes over the building, it sort of stops around here. Waterfire giving me the opportunity to do this was a great gift. I was Howard Bentre's assistant for 28 years. In some ways, I'm still working for him. All right, I'm gonna take, hold on, I'm gonna take one more out. He loved to work. So when I went to work there, I had to learn how to work the way he would work. He was like yelling at me for everything. Do this, do it this that way, do that harder. I, about two weeks in, I'm like, wow, I am just not giving this guy what he needs from me. And I was just about to say, well, I don't think this is working out. And it was about that time that he gave me a raise. So. <laughs> it was a dream of mine to give him a legacy exhibition. I wanted to experience the work as he would have wanted it to be exhibited one more time. This is a beautiful exhibition. We've got drawings, we've got monoprints, preparative maquettes, actual glass and photographs of these installations. Howard didn't just put a sculpture in the middle of a plaza. He designed the paving, he designed the seating, he designed the lighting. He even was involved in the landscape design and choices of plant material that they use. Much of it had to do with technology and what he could get away with and how far he could push the envelope. He worked all the time. He went to his studio every morning. He stayed there till every night. He was always drawing, working, thinking, proposing. It was his lifeblood. I was just enjoying remembering that impish smile. You can see him thinking, this is gonna be really difficult. It's gonna be complicated, but we can do it and it's going to be a success. And Howard did one installation after another like that. His work tends to be quiet and contemplative. The way it's made, you take it glowing out of a, a thousand and some odd degree oven, pour it into a mold, sandblast it and grind it, and you come out with this thing that in the end is kind of sublime. You walk around them, you experience them as a body. You know that glass is delicate, but these are not delicate. You know glass can break, but these feel, these feel impenetrable. I'm not an art historian. Uh, I'm more about uh, people. Uh, and so what I see is the 40 years that Howard and I were friends and how he evolved his work and how maybe I changed over time and our relationship evolved. On an overcast day, they've got uh, quiet murmurings of the light sort of rippling below the surface. When the sun comes through here in the afternoon, it's just heart-piercingly beautiful. I think Howard would really enjoy seeing his work here. Creating surprising exhibitions that can speak to everyone is our dream for this space. Because of COVID, we couldn't do any of the things you normally do. And, you know, honestly, I think this is more touching. To honor an artist by letting their artwork speak for their personhood, 
their achievements, their record, and their life. This elemental force is still here in all of that. And it's not going away soon. So, you know, there's that to console yourself with. Howard Ben Trey, a friend, an artist, a sculptor, a placemaker, and a huge fan of Providence. It's much to be celebrated and we will miss him. But we're pleased to remember him here for these two months. <laughs>